Hi guys, Geo Paul here. Today I am out on a very, very special day, the 10th of August 2016. We are celebrating the ninth year anniversary of the Sidetrack series of caches, which are scattered all around the UK, and I think there is a couple abroad as well. What is a Sidetrack cache, do I hear you say? Well, a Sidetrack cache is a easy park and grab cache outside railway stations, just outside their property of railway stations. And we are gonna go try and find between four and five. One of them is a really sidetracked, which basically means it's an X train station. And the one we're gonna do in this is a old World War II uh, station, so there's nothing gonna be there. Um, but this one, uh, we're gonna try and find now. It's Hearst Green, so let's go see if we can find it. Okay, so a little uh, concourse here, away from the station, actual main building. And it takes us straight away to this sign. The Surrey Street Post and tucked right down there is the cache. Okay, that's our first sidetrack done of the day. Hearst Green Station done. Okay, well we're now at a really sidetrack cache and as, as I said before a really sidetrack cache is a cache or a train station more to the point that is no longer here. I'm not quite sure where it's telling us but around here somewhere it used to be the old World War II train station. Unfortunately, not got a clue where, but we have found the cache. So I like the hint for this one. The hint is you don't have to be single. There's Bachelor's Farm. <laughs> That's quite clever. And the cache is just there, tucked in this sneaky little painted bit of wood. And it just tucked in there. Okay. okay, we're at the next station, around the corner from Hilda's. Let's go see if we can find this cache. Okay guys, well I found it and it had me stumped for a while. Uh, the GPS actually takes me down here somewhere. But in fact, it should be over here. Get a little bit worried, saying it's uh, Network Rail who run the railways in England. Um, and it says if we trespass it's a thousand pound penalty. So it kind of makes me go, ah, right. And then it suddenly dawned on me where this cache would be. So I started feeling all of these. No, no. And then I walk over to here. And I go, that one moves. And you pop it out. <laughs> and there is an old torch. But that, if I can steady it, that is the cache. Okay, that's three down, two to go. Okay guys, the sun's going down. This one had me looking for ages, probably a bit too long. Half an hour to probably 40 minutes it's taken me to find this, but I found it. Let me show you where it was. Okay, well this is the bridge for Little Browns, for the sidetrack cache. And as you can see, or you might not be able to see, black magnetic fence. Hint, magnetic, you guessed it. But the coordinates don't help because the coordinates or over there, there's exactly the same black fence you'd probably just be able to make out. And it's, and the coordinates are over there. I've searched up and down this for ages. And then I just managed, and I put my finger on something and moved it. And I think it is here, yeah. Naughty, naughty little cash. Well, that's four out of four. Lights dying down quick. Let's see if we can find number five. I've drafted out reinforcements. Mama Fox is out. H for Heaver had me stumped. There's a sign there that says H for Heaver. That's the first place you would look. No, and the coordinates have been set just here. Stop playing Pokemon. Um, what spawned? A rat. <laughs> uh, nothing good then. Um, we found it, I think. I haven't checked yet. H for Heaver. This one, as soon as you got out of the car, went Hydrant. Let's go see if we can find it. So I'll try my best to show you. Over here, where hydrants are in the UK, they always have a sign which says, I don't know if you can see that, not very well, H. Let's see, is that a cache behind the brick? It is. Ha <laughs> ha. See if I can get this in the light. There it is. Okay guys, well sidetrack day is done for another year. 
pretty pretty pleased with that five out of five really happy with that i'd have to admit the second to last one i thought was going to stump me but i even phoned mr terrapin tim who's still in wows after the welsh mega actually having a side tracked flash mob um where i think he had 40 to 50 people i've just been told on the phone which I'm, is bloody good going anyway so yeah five out of five caches i found today really really pleased with myself if you haven't tried a sidetrack cache over here in the UK yet, I really recommend you do it. They're really great. They take you to uh, places that you never really even knew about. I didn't know about half the stations that I've just gone and visited. I'd never, I've never even been to Heaver, and it's only a 25-minute, well, no, 35-minute drive from me. So, hey, thank you guys for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed to us, do it. There's plenty more geocaching videos where that comes from. Thank you very much for watching. There's nothing else to say apart from... Cash you next time.